Okay, in this video, I just want to give you a brief tour of our Google Drive Home. This is where you'll access most of the files related to the system, the list itself, the tools and the helper apps and the scripts and things that are being developed, documentation, things like that, artwork. So if you start on our homepage, you'll see a section that says resources. And if you click on the list itself, it'll basically open up the Google Drive shared folder. Okay, this is the top level home folder of our Google Drive. And what you'll see is that right on the top level is the list itself. It's called the UCS version eight full category list. There's also another document which is called a top sheet. And I'll explain more in the next video when we look at the list in more depth what this is. But I just wanna point out that there are a set of folders along the top of our home and inside each of these are things that may interest you. So inside the documentation folder where is where we'll be putting more PDFs and things like that. The only one up right now is a PDF that explains the file name and convention. There's gonna be a video much more in depth about this as well, but this is a uh, PDF that you can reference if you wanted to that really goes in depth, gives a bunch of examples, breaks down the file name structure and explains it, I think, in a pretty clear way. There's also a folder where we're storing Excel versions of the list if you wanted to download one in Excel so that you could look at it more and do different things with it, you could download those here. There's basically a set of folders available, two sets of folders, I should say, one that follows the full category system. So within each folder are the subcategories that are defined by the list. And there's one that just shows the category only, the 82 top level categories. These are just empty sets of folders, but for people who aren't using any databasing programs and don't have access to metadata and things like that, they might be useful to download a set of folders. You can download the zip files here for the category full set or the category only set as well. Inside the logos folder is the artwork for our system in different formats. So if you wanted to use this in your artwork, you could come here and download it in PNG in various sizes. You could download it in EPS or SVG format as well. The utilities folder is where we're going to store most of the apps, helpers, and scripts that we're writing and other people are writing. It's, it'll be broken down by platform, Mac and PC. So if I go into the Mac folder, what I'll see is a set of folders for certain applications or something written for the Finder, something for, written for Pro Tools, Reaper, Soundly, SoundMiner, Universal. If I was to go into Pro Tools, what I'd find is that there's a keyboard maestro basically tool for naming file names. And we'll look at this in, in depth in a later video too, but you could come here, you could download it. There's a little tutorial video written by Kai Paquin who sort of designed this particular tool. You can download the actual keyboard maestro macro set here. And this is just a quick little overview of what it is. So we're gonna be organizing most of the things here by folders like this. This will grow over time as people develop new tools. People are writing quite a few things right now so this is will be the home for always finding these and we'll post videos on our youtube channel when when a new tool is released and explain sort of how it gets used and lastly there's a vendors folder and this is still a work in progress but our idea is to basically keep a master vendor list that will show uh, vendors who are using this system and their products uh, allow them to specify a vendor abbreviation when we talk more about the file name we'll see why this is important and also they can list their libraries that are sort of compliant with this sort of category system, put a link directly to it, tell you what kind of library it is, you know, things like that. So this list will grow over time. Our sort of thinking with this is that a vendor will come here, come to the submission form and basically duplicate this sheet and fill in the information that they want and we'll merge it with the other one. Again, this is a bit of a work in progress, but our hope is that to sort of keep track of libraries that are sort of using the system and allow people to sort of come here and browse them. And so there you go. There's a brief look at the Google Drive home of the universal category system. This again is where you'll come to sort of download the list, uh, any of the apps, documentation, logos, and things that we have available. So in the next video, we'll dive into the list itself.